from the moment we were standing up here when I was speaking, I looked up, there were squids began to, <laughs> to go all over the place. We've been feeling away uh, like mad during all of these days. Fantastic way of translating. Thank you for using it. Uh, and let me also say two things. One is our artist. Is, is our Minnesota artist in the room or not? Well, there is a Minnesota artist. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And then, and then our cartoonist, you know, our cartoonist from Vienna. Here is our cartoonist from Vienna. <laughs> you know, I, I, I found both extremely stimulating. I, I think that you have a flair for capturing the essence of things that were said. You know, that were said. I showed the one you did on me to my wife. <laughs> and she said, look, she must have liked what you said, because you look much thinner than you really are. <laughs> so thanks a lot. <laughs> I would be showing it all around. So thank you for that. Thank you, <clears throat> of course, for the, for the videos. Fahir, mi querido amigo, Fahir is around. Fahir, Fahir, bueno, muchísimas gracias. dando la visión del mundo, dando de la perspectiva global los problemas que estamos discutiendo. Realmente muchísimas, muchísimas gracias y tengo la oportunidad de hablar en español, porque me toca mucho hablar en idioma que no son los míos. Muchas gracias. To Janet, Alfonso, Gain, are they around? Janet? Janet? Gain, okay, Alfonso is here. Well, thank you, thank you again, because we move from a, a global understanding of the problem to to the very nitty-gritty individual issue of a, of a human being that has to be dealing with the problem. So thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for both of you for, for having been acknowledged by all of you. But also I want to thank Rana, because Rana also wanted to present an individual picture. Rana, around here. Oh, here you so so where, where, where do we go from here? Uh, as I said when I inaugurated the conference, uh, our, our forum, it goes, it goes to the conference that there's going to be a delegation of you who will take the outcomes, the many outcomes, because it's not just a single document, you have a number of outcomes coming out, uh, the many outcomes, and they will be transmitted to the conference committee that will be looking at these issues. So there is a direct link between what you discussed here and the fact that what you discussed will be available for those delegates that will want to take decisions on these, on these matters. What comes out of that are policy decisions of the ILO, which as I said at the beginning, you know, influence the policies, are, are useful for the countries to follow those policies. You know, they determine the types of policies that we will promote with our constituents and that we will develop with our constituents. It's a source of activism for you. Because you can say, look, this is what the ILO said, and you know, these things are not really happening here, so why don't we see the manner of getting the necessary dialogues or processes going to make it happen? We will bring it to the international level, to the, the national community, the United Nations, the Economic and Social Council, the General Assembly, the things that I said. So, so that's going to happen. That's the process, that's the product that you have produced that will be going elsewhere. But I think that the most important thing that I can say now in that sense is the follow-up between us. And that part, let me stimulate you to, to organize. One of the things that have, has come to my mind is, uh, well, we had 46 national consultations. We have all of you here. You know, what if when you all go back home, you decide to keep together, to keep linked, to you know, organize yourself as a group to say, look, this is what we've done, this is what this is the potential, this is what the ILO would like to do in its relationship with young people, and they've told us that they want to keep this linkage together. Um, I think that that could be a very practical, concrete way of following up. And I suddenly had an image and I said to myself, many of you said, well, thank you for inviting us. Uh, and suddenly we, 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 I think that we chose well. But what would happen if in a couple of years from now we have another meeting 
except that the difference would be if you are present in 45 countries, you've organized yourself, you've appointed your own coordinators, all the people coming here will be representative, elected by you, of what you're doing back home, which would be a very important advance with the employers, with the workers, with the tripartite dialogue structure, but also with all of those that may at the country level want to be working to make all of these changes happen. So I, we will take this to where we have to take it, but let me tell you also, please think that deepening the organization. I also want to thank the water team, Jose Manuel. <laughs> let me tell you, uh, this whole thing took about you know, well and with, with an enormous wish and desire is what I, what I said at the beginning. Meeting an enormous amount of ideas, things that we all have to be thinking. You know, without dialogue, without the capacity to talk to each other, even us into what you have to do towards the future. Because if you look at the world, you know, there is no way to continue. You know, it's hard, hard, hard to change the realities that we're.